with me. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hussain Abbas and you are watching Wala Sahib. Today our topic is about the Islamic Constitution. In our previous topic, I had told you about what are electrons. Electrons are the negatively charged particles present in the shells or orbits around the nucleus of an atom. Today I will tell you about what is electronic contribution, how many valence electrons an atom carry, the name of the shell and their, how many electrons they carry. So first of all I will throw, tell you about the definition of electronic contribution. Electronic contribution. The distribution of electrons revolving around the orbits and the shells of an atom or an element is called electronic contribution. The elements on the left side of the periodic table are metals and have 1 to 3 valence electrons. The elements on the right side of the periodic table are non-metal and have 4 to 7 valence electrons. The elements of group 2 and group A are inert gases and have 2 or 8 valence electrons in its last shell. Now I will tell you about the name of the shell. The first shell can, is a shell and also called a doublet shell. The first shell can hold up two electrons. The second shell is called L shell or an octet shell. The second shell can hold up to eight electrons. The third shell is called M shell and it can hold up 18 electrons. The fourth shell is called N shell and can carry 32 electrons. The fifth shell is called O shell and have 60 electrons. The sixth, sixth shell can hold up 72 electrons and it's called P shell. The seventh shell can hold up 28 electrons and it is called Q shell. We can also find the group number and the period number by seeing the electronic contribution. The group number is found by its valence electron. The period number is can find by its shell. So, now we have to remember that we have to know the electronic contribution of the definition of the electronic contribution. After that, how atom carry valence electron? Metal valence, metal atom. And non-metal atoms how many valence electron carry? And inert gases how many valence electron carry? After that, we have to remember the shells and how many electrons carry? We have to remember the उसके बाद हमें ये याद रखना है कि हम ग्रुप नंबर कैसे फाइंड कर सकते हैं और पीरियड नंबर कैसे फाइंड कर सकते हैं जैसे आपको हमने बताया है कि ग्रुप नंबर हम फाइंड कर सकते हैं उसके वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन के हैं कि आपकी शेल में कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन हैं और पीरियड नंबर हम ऐसे फाइंड कर सकते हैं सिर्फ क्योंकि कैसे उसका आपकी नंबर कौन सा है 1 या 2 है 3 है आपका बहुत-बहुत शुक्रिया कि आपने मेरी वीडियो देख के और प्लीज आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब